heard the Lord say this morning, if you knew me, you'd run to me, not from me. 1 John 4, 16 to 18 says, and so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love and whoever lives in love lives in God and God in him. In this way, love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment because in this world we are like him. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. If we've experienced rejection from people that we admire, like our parents or teachers or people in authority, it's very easy to take those filters and project them onto God, assuming that he's going to treat us the same way that they did in their brokenness. When we fail, we experience rejection, we experience punishment, we experience condemnation, and we assume that in our failures, we are also going to remove the love of God from our lives because of them. But that is not God's character. God is the embodiment of love. First Corinthians 13, 4 to 8 says, Love is patient. It's kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude, not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. This is the love of God. This is who you're running to. Know him. Be loved by him. Be redeemed, forgiven, and freed by him.